Hi everyone and welcome to Astronomy for Beginners, I'm Martin and I'm basically today I'm going to cover something really important, um, basically for astronomers is um, we use a certain device called a planisphere and what this does it allows us to um, locate constellations in the night sky, find our way around the night sky on a uh, current time or date, all right, and this tool allows us to do such a task, all right. Uh, the planisphere, all right, they you know, they're not very expensive, all right, and they they do they, they do a fantastic job, all right, and they cost you know they cost around about probably ten, maybe twenty pounds at the most, all right, and you know, and they use quite a lot. Well, I use this all the time when I stargaze or when I'm Im imaging as well alright I've always used this and this is handy if I want to find a certain star or I want to find a certain constellation alright you go, you do get different types of uh, planispheres in different sizes alright this one's got a little bit on some of the diesel objects on there as well so if I want to look at M31 or something like that it enables me to find, uh, find that particular um, uh, diesel in the sky, all right. What a plan planisphere, you know, how it works is, you know, when you, before you buy one first, is make sure you buy a planisphere in your area, all right. Uh, that's really important. Within round about ten degrees either way, you know, in 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 your certain area, all right. Of so ideally is you know visit a uh, astronomy shop or something like that and tell them you know I'm after a planisphere. Nine out of ten in UK it's around about 51, all right or 52, but um, in that area there yeah, and um, you can't go wrong with uh, yeah, a planisphere and all that. But make sure before you buy any planisphere, is get the right one in your area. Now obviously. This one is a German one, so so this is a totally different planisphere as compared to UK. But because it's in German and all that, and it works quite uh, quite the same. And how that works is is what it does is you know you've got different dials. You know you've got this bit here is this tells you the date, all right, and each little stroke lines here, all right, represents um, you know the first, second the 3rd of January or something like that and then at this bottom here this one here this dial here is the time all right the time of that location and how this works all right basically as you're looking at the night sky all you have to do is say like for example it is the 28th of February all right what you do is I slide all right it usually some some uh, planetaries have a pointer right where you slide in up and down like right? Okay, this one has a locator. What you do is you you move this locator, all right, all right, where February is, if if it sees it there, all right, and basically it is as we move into position, all right, okay. What we we got here, February the twenty eighth, all right, February the twenty eighth, all right, locator here, all right, and because it's ran about uh, fourteen hundred. All right, 1400. I basically turn that that dial all the way around because there's basically a dial here that I turn with my hands. All right, I turn this dial. All right, see this dial I'm turning here. All right, just be careful it doesn't move out of position. As you turn that dial, all right, I turn it to 1400. Okay, also go off by your watch and all that, and basically that will show you this bit here. This this circle here is the elliptical. Alright, that's basically what you can see in that entire uh, star field at that certain point in, on Earth where you're at. And basically that shows you where you're looking at, alright. But um, that will show you the existing sky of that particular day and time, alright. Obviously as uh, the hours progress and all that, you know, time to the time, that sky will change, you know. And uh, that allows you uh, to you know locate the uh, obviously a much up-to-date sky map all right and uh, it's very easy to use I mean and uh, obviously when you come to use it and you've got the exact sky you basically look at uh, 
what you're looking at in the sky and you can start matching up the the sky or you know, the star patterns and all that to f locate your uh, constellations all right all right bear in mind that because this is in german to locate where you're looking at all right all right this is obviously south and this bit is north so all right so basically if you're looking at north that's up that won't take your where you're at all right and then there's west and then there's east all right so basically it's got all your coordinates where you're going to look at all right so obviously so you got north west also i've got this upside down all right so if i turn it upside upside around there so there's north there's west south and then east obviously depending on what you're looking at a certain point in the sky all right also with north you've got the plow and all that up here all right now one thing uh, disturbs a lot, uh, you know, puts off a lot of people is people cannot f seem to find Polaris. Now believe it or not, Polaris is that pin there. All right, that's where that Polaris. Is. You see the plow there? You got the the, the the plow here, and you line it up. But that's where the uh, Polaris is. Now m some planispheres will show Polaris, but on some of them, it's just a pin in the middle. All right, but that represents Polaris. All right. And that's where you can locate north, all right? Once you locate uh, that position there on the night sky and according to the plan sphere, basically you know where north is. And then you can orientate yourself on the planet sphere, where's where east and where's west and all that. And then you can start using, uh, identifying all the constellations and that. I use this a lot, particularly when I'm using um, star alignment on my go-to systems, on my telescopes. So if I don't know a particular star that I need to line up, I refer to this always, and then I, I then locate the star where it is in the sky and all that, and then I move. Once the telescope's moving into position, I then fine tune it to find that star. All right, and the planisphere works a treat. This is a very important uh, tool to use. All right, and everyone who's uh, starting out, even experienced astronomers, will always use a planisphere. All right. Alright, without a doubt, but um, number one, uh, number one tool to have. Alright, as as uh, as everyone who wants to learn the night sky, the planisphere will teach you how to locate the stars, learn all the star patterns and all that, and the constellations, and it makes you, you know, makes you learn the sky more. Without this particular tool, there is no way I can locate or navigate stuff in the night sky without this. But for like ten, maybe twenty pounds, alright. This is an ideal uh, tool uh, to anyone who's starting out, or even for the experienced astronomers. But uh, I thought I'd show you this, all right? And a lot of people are confused on uh, how it works, but it, it's so easy to use, all right? And that's basically, you know, I have to cover on it. So thanks again, thanks for watching, and goodbye.